Eight million people across Nepal are struggling to recover. After the worst disaster Nepal has seen in nearly a century. Panic in the streets of Kathmandu. Absolutely no electricity in this area. There's no water supply. 300 million people in Africa still don't have access to clean water. The United Nations declared years ago that access to water and sanitation is a human right. Without it, human life cannot exist. Water on tap in the home is a luxury. Chaos tonight here on the island of Lesbos. There's really no end in sight to this crisis. Syrians, Iraqis, and desperate refugees braving a life or death journey. So many are dying in this, this narrow sea between Turkey and Greece. A number of boats coming in this morning, and this one seems to have lots of children on board. One, two, three, it begins. There is no electricity, no energy. Water exists beneath their feet. What they need is a few solar panels so that we can pump the water. Children are coming to Israel, we operate them. We host them until the operation uh, is done and the recovery time is done, they go back home. People just come with nothing on them, you know, just the clothes, babies, old people, handicapped. At this moment, history is being written and I want to be a part of it. can sit at home, see this, and not help. You see their eyes, they're hungry for education. They can lead their lives to a better future. The rescue team that we brought here are specialized in urban rescues. They told us that they hear somebody alive, a young girl missing. This is what we do in Africa, in Ethiopia, in, in India, in South America. It doesn't matter what color they are, what size they are, not only our privilege, but our our duty. This is how change is done. The real Israel, it's what we are doing here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We were asking for help for everybody, like uh, Nepalese military personnel and lots of uh, foreigners also. And Israel had come straight from the airport and started digging up. And the thing they have and other didn't have is faith and hope. They found Krishna Kumari. For me, I am Syrian. For me, it's, there, is, there is no problem if I'm meeting Israeli people. They are really uh, helping us and uh, helping a lot of families here and children. I'm feeling very happy. Israeli people, volunteers coming every year to teach our students. Change in uh, daily life also. No longer sick, no longer weak. I'm going to play like other children. I never interacted with uh, people from the other side, the Jewish people, but now we interact with a lot of people. You get to know people as individuals. It's a very good experience. They are really so, so special to my family. Come again, again, again. <laughs>